I'm going to show how to set the timing on a two-stroke. We've taken in the distributor, taken it apart, locked the advance weights, welded those in place. So we've got no more centrifugal advance. We've removed the vacuum advance off there also. That's been taken off, so that's gone. Now we can set the timing at about 18 degrees before top dead center seems to be a good spot. When you go to check your timing, the first thing you need to do is you need to establish true top dead center. These crankshaft pulleys will develop wear in here where the keyway goes, and you need they will change slightly in a few degrees, so you need to verify top dead center before you get started. If you've got one of these nice gauges like we've got in here, you can do that. You can sweep it, find your top dead center. I've got the gauge, however, I never use it. I always use a ballpoint pin, use the back side of a pin with the cap off so I don't lose the cap inside. But I just stick it down the hole or a screwdriver and I'll watch markings and I'll find my top dead center with a ballpoint pin. I do that all the time. I never use my gauge. It just looks good here for an example. Once that top dead center is found, I will I will take a punch and I'll remark my true top dead center marks so I know where they're at and I'll paint them white. I'll also mark on the block where, I, where my 18 degrees is approximately, I say approximately, because 20 degrees is normally marked on all the blocks, 18 you got to drop down about an eighth of an inch or so. But once I've got that set up, once I've got my true top dead center found and I've got my 18 degree marked on my block, I can now take and back my engine up, go you know, way before top dead center, bring the, roll the engine around, and as I hit, you'll hear the spark snap. As I hit that 18 degree point, I get a spark, and I know that's where my timing occurs. I never use a light on a two-stroke. I static set my timing always. I know where it's at. This one's been converted to pointless ignition with the Petronics. Uh, works real well, so it's set and ready to go. You can hear that. I'll flip the light off for a second. You should be able to see the spark down here too. You can do this in the car. Obviously you'd normally do it in the car. I just happen to have an engine set up on the bench to make it easy. I pull the coil wire out of the distributor cap. I hook, I, when I'm on the road and, and do it, or even in the shop, I'll just stick a screwdriver in there. All right, and I'll run it to a ground. Makes it very easy to check your timing. Um, turn your distributor to get your 18 degrees, and you're set and ready to sail. That's about it.